back in the legit culinary think tank kitchen uh, working on uh, another puree. This one is a, uh, a very, very simple one meant to utilize uh, remaining pieces of vegetables that are being roasted, utilized for, uh, for something else. Say um, you're roasting a beet for a salad or you're roasting a beet for a, a vegetable component on the plate then you're going to have trim. So this is meant to utilize that roasted beet trim and uh, we're going to use another component that I always make in competition which is the, uh, the xanthan gum and uh, white verjus slurry, right? I made that in the, uh, the first video that I made and, uh, and so I'm going to have that in competition. So this is a nice way to pull those two ingredients together we pull those two ingredients together and we find ourselves with a really nice, vibrant, beautiful puree that's actually really, really simple and a really great way to utilize trim. Now this is going to roast in an oven at 300 degrees with 50% moisture. If you have a combi oven, if not, there's going to be a saute pan in the oven with a little bit of moisture to help add some moisture to the oven. And then we're going to cook them until they're done. I will use a thermometer to check the temperature of this. When these beets are at 190 degrees, I'm gonna call them done. Zero it out. And I have a piece of parchment on my board to keep my board nice and clean. And I'm just gonna cut this into smaller pieces so the blender has to work a little bit easier, so the blender doesn't have to work so hard. My target yield is going to be uh, 225 grams. We're going to add an equal part of xanthan gum and white verju slurry. All right, so we have here 115 grams of beets and 115 grams of verju slurry. That's going to take us to 230 grams. So we don't need the scale any longer. Moving the tools. I'm going to switch over to my next set of tools and my little smoothie cup. Mm, beautiful color. Make sure we get the product from out on the blade. All right. So the acid from the verju is going to brighten your color of the beets and it always balances out the flavor as well because beets tend to be sweet. And we're going to taste this for seasoning, but being that the beets were baked in salt, they usually don't need much seasoning. Just the seasoning. Taste again. Beautiful. Thank you again for uh, spending your time with me. I really enjoyed having you. I would love to have some comments, and if you have any feedback or have any questions, any specific subjects, I would love to answer them. I look forward to seeing you again. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel or check out my Instagram, Gerald L. Ford, and uh, take a look. Thank you.